there's laws of science and there's laws of business. And I see people like there's two extremes on this call. Some of you are a little too spiritual. Okay. I want you to put the word in if you're a little too spiritual. If that's your, if you're a little too spiritual, you're a little bit too much ayahuasca, you're a little too much law of attraction, put in the word spiritual. And some of you are too atheistic. So you're too practical. You're like, well, Bill Gates is rich because he has higher IQ and he's born and I've seen the data. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, who's too scientific and who's too spiritual? I'm telling you, the future of science is a synthesis of science and spirituality. It's already happening. You don't believe me? Google what the Nobel Prize was. Local realism doesn't exist. The, I mean, that's a... My, just, most of you don't know what that means. Albert Einstein hated it. Okay? So I want you all to become a merging of spiritual and science. And when you come to the middle, you begin to see that's what... I mean, Elon Musk, richest man in the world right now, is kind of a synthesis of that. He believes when he was 12 years old, he read a book that changed his life. It was called The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And he said, what kept me from being a depressed teenager was the thought that there's something bigger than Earth. That's kind of spiritual. Okay? But yet he's a scientist too. I met him. First time I ever met him, I said, Elon, I just posted a video. People have thought, that I was making up my Elon Musk stories. So I found my videos and I've been posting them on my Instagram. Now people are shutting up. And I got one. Uh, the first time I ever read Elon, I said, it was at a movie theater at the Grove. I said, and nobody knew who Elon Musk was in 2014. I, it was hilarious. I was with my girlfriend at the time. We're out of line. The kid taking the money, you didn't know he was, and, and Elon Musk bought three hot dogs. I found out he likes hot dogs. He does not eat the healthiest. I was, and I told, I was dating this girl, Kenna. I said, Kenna, you know who that is? She goes, no, that's Elon Musk. I had met him in 12, 2012. A guy took me to a little talk he did. And so I said, Kenna, go up to Elon and ask him. Cause I was a little shy. Cause I don't know. I'm usually not shy, but she was beautiful. And I was like, I'm going to use Kenna to open this conversation. So she walked up to Elon and I forget what she said, but I asked him, I said, how did you learn how to build SpaceX? He goes, I bought books. <laughs> and I've, I've been telling that story since 2014. People were always like, oh, it's a scam, tied it. And I found the damn video. It's been posted on my Instagram about and my YouTube in the last two weeks. And I said, Elon, you told me that you learned to read SpaceX from books. And he goes, yes. My vindication came. I have not been able to find that video for damn 10 years almost. But the point is, he's also a scientist. He believes there's something bigger than Earth. That's his spiritual side. And he says, I learned it by reading books on astrophysics and uh, you know aerospace engineering. So you all have to be that synthesis. Okay? If you're too scientific, you're going to lose hope because you're going to go, there's 8 billion people competing with me. Everybody's trying to build a personal brand. Blah, blah, blah. You're going to be like Roger Bannister. Before Roger Bannister, everybody's like, you can't run four-minute miles. Anatomically impossible. The body it gives out. You don't have energy. Nobody's ever done it before. And then one dude just does it. And then all of a sudden you can do it. That's manifestation and the law of attraction. There's an 11 year old making 30 million bucks a year on YouTube. You can make a hundred grand. You can do it.